Don't you hate it when you cannot find a tutorial of how to make a 2D face friggin' blender? Well, luckily, you found one. Alright, so let's get right into it. So, first of all, go ahead and create a sphere. The reason why is because we need a base to put the face on. If you already have a mesh that you want to put it on, then you can use that instead. Make sure it has shade smooth so it's nice, smooth. And we're going to be adding in a plane. Now, what you got to do is click tap, which will turn into edit mode. And now we're going to have to rotate it so it faces front. So click R, which is the shortcut for rotating, and X. The reason why is because it will get the coordinate X and rotate on that coordinate. Now type in 90 and rotate it 90 degrees. Now click G which is the shortcut for transform, which will move the object, and click Y, which is another coordinate for going like this, this way. Now put in the number one, and, and click the minus button. Now, it brought it, instead of going one, which is over here, it made it go over here, because you've made it negative. Now we have it in front of the sphere, we're going to shrink it to the size we want the mouth to be by default when it's open. We're going to choose this. Now, what you got to do is click loop cut, which you can see on the left, and put it. make sure it's this way on the mesh. The reason why we're doing this is so we can have different parts of this mesh we can move so we can make his mouth different shapes. Now go here, switch to edge mode so we can select edges. Now select these two edges, hold shift to, and click on the other one to select more than one edge. Then click E to extrude, which will basically duplicate them and put them connected. There we go. And click enter to, to verify it. Now click S, which is the shortcut for scaling it. Click X, which is the coordinate. Go on the X coordinate. Make it scale in the X. Now put in the number 2, as that's the size we have for this. Click Enter. Now we have the base for our mouth. Just to make it a little easier for us to see what's happening, we'll be changing the color of the sphere by clicking New. And this is a material, which is the color, and change the color. Now, so we can actually see the colors, go into Material Mode, which enables all the shading options. Now add another material here for the mouth, click a new, to add one, change the color to black for just for now. And make sure this is in shade smooth. Alrighty. As you can see we have these points that we can mess with. You can make shapes, you can make it smile, it may look a little creepy but that's fine for now. Now what we're going to do is rig it up so we can control these points without messing up the mesh and so we can animate it. To do that, click Add Armature. Now it adds the armature in our scene in one bone and we're going to have to change some settings on it so we can see it at all times. Click on Object Data, click on Viewboard Display and here you can see in front. Now it will always be in front of every object so we can see it. Click view, then viewpoint, and click front so we can see exactly in front of everything. And select the plane for the mouth and click tab. Now you can see we have this bone and we need to move it up here to this vertice, which is a point of the mouth that you can move. So the way we make it go exactly there is by clicking Shift S, just a shortcut for doing this stuff. Now choose cursor to select it. It'll bring the 3D cursor to the vertices that you have selected. Now click tab, which will make you get out of edit mode. Click on this bone and click tab. Now you can edit the bone. So what you're gonna do is select this bone by clicking on it, shift S and click Selection to Cursor. 
Now, it, this point is connected to it. What we can now do is go up here and switch the pivot point to the 3D cursor. So that now when we scale it, it will scale down. And this will stay where it is. Go like so. Change it to the size you want to have. Whenever you use this rig, it will always be that size. I think I'll use this size. Once you're done that, click tab. Click back on the plane. Click tab. And click shift S. Cursor to selected. Click tab. Go back on here. Tab. Shift D. Shift S. Select a new cursor. Now there is an easier way to do this. What we can do just so we don't have to keep setting those up, we can click Shift D on here to duplicate it. Click X, and if we drag it over here for now, and holding Control, we can see how far it is. We can see it's three meters at the top left. So what we can do here is go negative three meters. And if it's correct, it's right at the vertice. Go back in here, Shift D, X and point three and make sure it's negative and do the same thing here. Point three. Now we got the top of the mouth. Now all we have to do is go back into our mouth plane, click tab, click on this vertice, shift S, cursor to selected. Now we can click back on our armature. Select all by clicking A. Shift D and Z and hold control until it lines up with that. There we go. Now the last thing we want to do is create some bones for the sides so we can control the sides uh, better. Now we could do select the head. These are called heads. We'll just call it the bottom point of this bone. Same thing here. Now click shift S, cursor to select it, and it'll cut the middle of that. To click on one, shift D, which will duplicate it. And it doesn't matter which bone you duplicate. Now shift S, selection cursor, there we go, it's lined up. Do the same thing on the other side. This bottom point on that bone, the bottom point of this bone. Shift S, cursor selected. Duplicate any bone. Shift S, selection to cursor. Now we have that. Now we have to assign each vertice to each bone. So make sure you're putting the front. Select your plane first. And hold shift and click on one of the bones and it selects the whole armature. Now do control P, which will parent them. Do not do object, do not do object keep trap so form, do not do armature deform. Click on with empty groups. There we go. Now if we click back onto the plane and we click on the object data, which is right under the modifier and or right above the materials and we can see we have a whole bunch of vertex groups but thing how do we know which one's what as you can see this one is bone this one's bone zero one this bone zero two zero three zero four here it's zero five zero six zero seven zero eight zero nine you just have to remember the order that you did it so Bam, this first vertice, click on it, click on the bone vertex group, click assign. Now, if we move this bone, it will follow it. That's what that does, it assigns it to that bone. And do that for every single one. Select this, object 01, select this, object 02, object 03, object 04. Now down here, Object 05, Object 06, Object 07, Object 08, Object 09. Now we have two left, number 10 and 11. Leave those and do not put anything on them. If we click tab again, go onto our armature, switch to pose mode by clicking on object mode and clicking on pose mode, we can now control them. Now we have kind of a mouth rig, we can control. But, what's the point of having these bones when they are doing nothing? Now, so what we're going to do now is you make this bone actually do something. What we're going to do is make these two bones follow this bone. Clicking on this 
bone first, and holding shift, click on the middle right bone, click control P, and keep offset. Do the same thing for the bottom one, click on it, shift, click on the middle right bone, control P, keep offset. You can see, we can move it, and it moves those ones with it. If you move this, it doesn't move any of the other ones with it. Do the same thing on the other side, click the tab, click on the top left, now left middle, control P, keep offset. Bottom left, shift, left middle, control P, keep offset. There we go. We have that all set up. Now, you may be like, this is not on the object. Well, to fix that, we're going to object mode. Click onto our plane. Go to your modifiers, then click add modifier. Add subdivision surface. That the subdivision surface adds more points to the surface, so that when we add on the shrink wrap, it will connect to more points on the sphere, so it's more accurate. Switch it to view to two. Now add on a shrink wrap. The shrink wrap will make it go around the sphere. So click on this little eyedropper tool and click on our sphere. Switch the mode to outside surface. Now you can see it's kind of inside of that, which is not what we want. So what you're going to do is change the offset. We're going to try 0 0.005. There are still some little things here. So let's change it to 0 0.01. Now it works, and we don't see any of the sphere poking through. Now add on another subdivision surface so we can smooth out this even more. Set this to 3. Set the render to 6 to make it as high quality as we can. Now we do see a little bit stuff here. To make it work better, click on the sphere. Add a subdivision surface. You can set it to 2 and the render to 3. Now it's smoother. Now the mouth has more points to attach to. That means we can change the offset to 0 0.005. So then there's less of a gap. Next up we're going to make it so the shading's the same. Right now it does kind of look the same, but to make sure it's perfect, let's go ahead and add on a data transfer. This may be a little bit of overkill, but just in case you need it. So source object, do sphere, change face corner, switch this to nearest face interpolate it, click custom normals, and there we go. Now click on our object data, which is under there, click on normals, click on auto smooth. Now it should work. Now it should always be shaded just like it's on, or just like it's part of the sphere. We can select our armature compose mode and move a bone. Actually, switch the subdivisions right now to 3. We can move it. You may see this when you extend it too much, but for now, we will ignore that. That's the basics. There we go. Congrats, you made it through the first part of how to make a 2D face rig. In this part, you learned how to make a basic mouth rig that's 2D and how to rig it, and how to wrap it around a object, and ha making it have the same shading so it doesn't look like it's a separate object. In the next part, we will be adding teeth and a tongue. Thanks for watching. See you in the second part. Maybe we could wait.